For UFC 203, CM Punk versus Mickey Gull. We all know the outcome of that match. And it might be a while before we stop hearing about it and the whole aftermath of that match in terms of people throwing a lot of shit CM Punk, Phil Brooks' way. Uh, a lot of shit WWE's way and professional wrestlers' way in general because of it. And the general attitude is, just as anyone could have predicted, it's the same way that it was with CM Punk going into the fight. By a lot of people, it's the same attitude. The whole attitude of, this guy's a dreamer, he's just a phony wrestler, he's got no athletic experience, no fighting experience. Um, you know, he's going to get smashed when he goes in there and he's going to wake up and smell the coffee. And his fight came along, and given, he got his head pounded in, and he got choked out in 2 minutes and 11 seconds. Alright? So now, obviously, everything that everyone has been saying is, is confirmed. And CM Punk is, you know, just cookie dough, and wasn't really cut out for, for the big leagues. And he was just a delusional dreamer, and he woke up to reality. And now it's confirmed, because he lost his first UFC fight in 2 minutes and 11 seconds, that he doesn't really deserve to be there anymore, and doesn't really deserve another opportunity. And what I just want to point out there is, you know, in the main event um, of two, UFC 203, between the two heavyweights, that match only went for about 4 minutes and a half. First round, it was decided who won. Nobody, you know, said anything about that. Um, actually, a lot of UFC fights, come to think of it, a lot of them finish in the first round. And the attitude, depending, you know, changes depending on whoever it is that's actually in the fight. And I would just like to point out a simple thing that people, for whatever reason, forget. The two fights that Mickey Gall had that was actually recorded for UFC, because um, it came in with two wins and no losses, both of them, he won... What, in under a minute? So CM Punk actually lasted longer, or around the same time, as both of Mickey Gall's previous opponents combined. Alright? So what I didn't get is why people jumped to this whole entire conclusion that, you know, it's confirmed, Punk is just a phony and a dreamer, and fuck him, he got smashed. When really, maybe it's just a case that Mickey Gall is actually quite good. So much so that, you know, his previous two fights, he beat them in a very similar fashion, a lot quicker. A lot quicker. Straight for the ground, straight for the choke, bang. Right? So, you know, if, if Mickey Gall had been this guy who hadn't won anything, he was a really poor fighter, and then, in, and then, and then what happened at 203 happened, and he just annihilated Punk? I could actually understand the basis for everyone's attitude and their speculations, their judgments. You know, how could this, this loser kid come in and then beat up this guy so easily? That guy must be really bad. But no one seems to take into account that, you know, even if it wasn't CM Punk versus Mickey Gall, even if it was another uh, well-trained fighter, even someone who's on a level playing field with Mickey Gall in terms of experience, um, maybe even they would have struggled. Maybe they would have lost even sooner than Punk. Maybe a little bit, they would have lasted a little bit longer. But the point is that I think it's unfair and unrealistic to say, well, okay, Punk, we'll give you the opportunity. We'll give you two years to train uh, with unlimited resources, do your best to get prepared, then come your fight, you're either going to win. Uh, but if you lose, if you happen to lose your first proper fight, then you're no good. Then obviously... You're just a phony and go back to where you did WWE. I think that's really actually fucking childish. And I bet you, even if he won, let's say he lasted, he kept evading Mickey Gall's maneuvers, he didn't actually knock out or make tap out or TKO Mickey Gall, and let's say it went to five rounds or whatnot, and it, it came to a point decision, and let's say that CM Punk won based on points. Even then, the media and all these people who were initially against the man anyway, and against the whole concept of this person coming into UFC doesn't belong there. Those same people would have said, oh, Punk, you know, had to dance around for five minutes and evade and not really fight, had to win by points, had to stretch it out and dance around like he's in the WWE ring again. Even that wouldn't have been good enough. The only way I would bet that people would have 
maybe, and I mean people, the people that are generally against punk in this situation, the only way they would have given him some kudos, some respect, some credit, you know, and, and actually admit it, okay, this guy has some merit here, is if he annihilated Mickey Gall. Not if he just won it, because then they could have just said, oh, he fluked it, or Mickey Gall was just really bad, right? I bet you the only way he would have got some respect is if he absolutely annihilated Mickey Gall. You know what I mean? And that's even more unrealistic. You know, he, he admitted that, you know, you need to take you need to get beat up a bit before you become a good fighter. And he knew what he was getting into, and I bet he was in his mind aware of the possibility that he could lose and he could suffer some pain. And he was prepared to undertake that. You, a lot of the greatest fighters lost their first fat fight. You know, you've got to have a few fights before you're ready. So I actually find it really quite sad, disappointing, and disheartening that now there's talks about Punk not being given an opportunity to be in another UFC fight. You know what I mean? Because he didn't absolutely kill it on his first fucking debut, especially considering his, his lack of experience. I mean, yeah, it was a gimmick fight. It was all about, you know, we have this main superstar. We can make a lot of money by bringing him over, bring a lot more eyeballs to the TV, right? But with that said, if he was signed up initially for a three-fight contract, which is what I hear, I don't know why you wouldn't follow through with that contract and respect the contract and stick to it. Just because Punk lost his first fight. And that's the perspective I want to give everyone watching this video, is that he didn't get annihilated. All right, He didn't lose as quickly as the previous two opponents. Two opponents who actually have had years and years and years of fighting experience and been working their way up as well. Mickey Gall beat them a lot quicker than he beat Punk, a 38-year-old who's only had two years, actually a year and a half, professional training. All right? So if you look at it from the point of view of, okay, maybe let's be fair here. Maybe Mickey Gall's just really good. He does have more experience. He's half the age. Almost half the age. Well, not almost, but he's quite younger, significantly younger, like 14 years younger. Um... You know, maybe anyone would have suffered a defeat in that ring and in that octagon and, and Punk even sooner because of his situation, all right? But I still think from a point of view of defense, he kept Gull off him. He kept him from going into that rear naked choke for a while. He blocked him well. Um, he kept him in check well. You know what I mean? And people say she was sidestepped when Gull went for the leg shoot. He was going in on a front lunge for a fake. He probably followed up by something else. He wasn't in the right positioning to sidestep. By the time it happened, Mickey Gall was as quick as lightning. You know what I mean? And sometimes people get taken down, even if they're at the top of the mountain or at the bottom. People do get taken down. And just because people had attitudes thinking this guy's a, a loser to begin with, it doesn't mean that just because he makes the same mistakes or just because he lets the same things happen that anyone could let happen, it doesn't confirm immediately that he's ultimately a loser and that's all he's ever destined to be. And that it's impossible for him to improve and to maybe even win his next fight or the fight after that. So I would personally like to see Punk have another opportunity if he was signed up for a multi-fight contract. I see no reason why they shouldn't follow through. It wasn't like he had much time or anything to show what he had learned. It went to the ground immediately. Um, Mickey Gull really just, just ran, he went for it solid, you know, and it was probably, it could have just been put down to the fact that he's so much younger, so much more experienced, maybe he's just better, but just, you know, every p p fighter in the UFC has an opponent out there who is better than them, even Brock Lesnar was beat, yeah, so, you know, just because you're beat by someone, it doesn't mean you're a loser to everyone. And I think there's someone out there who Punk could beat. Someone with experience, not just a homeless person off the street. Um, and I think it's really disrespectful to, to have such expectations that he should just go in there and absolutely annihilate and tear down the house on his first fight. Um, otherwise, goodbye, baby. We were right. You're just a loser. I think that's really immature. I think people were setting him up for that. And it would have been very, very, very hard for Punk to come out any different. Very hard for him to come out with people actually respecting him. People would have been looking for ways to poke holes in him and turn him into Swiss cheese regardless. You know, because it's not really fair. People aren't approaching this fairly. I actually think he did well. Considering the previous fights I saw, 
considering his lack of experience and the, the year and a half preparation. I think he did really well to fend off Gal for as long as he did. He took a few hits. You know, we know he can take a few hits and not just get knocked out and not just give up immediately. All right, so we, we know he's got the, the balls, the heart, and he's tough. He's got the head for it. And, you know, just because he wasn't given the opportunity to show anything, it doesn't mean that he's got nothing to show. And that's the other thing. People are, like, saying, you know, like, I was just watching a talk show about two douchebags talking about how, you know, even Mickey Gull himself isn't really a fighter. He's only a 2 and 0 you know, fighter. And they're, they're talking as if that because... He hasn't really had the time on, in the spotlight yet to be recognized as being a great fighter. And because he hasn't proven himself yet to be a great fighter, that he isn't a great fighter. That he's just some kid as well. So it's no... that even They're, they're saying that this is insulting to Punk as well, that he was beaten by some kid with only 2 or no, and, you know, hasn't proven himself yet. But the thing is, who the... How the fuck do you know? So far from what we've seen of Mickey... He's an exceptional fighter, not perfect, surely, but exceptional. And for you know, champions are champions the moment they step into their designated squares or octagons or circles. And it's a matter of time, it's a matter of watching, observing and learning that they are a champion and allowing them to prove it. But just because it hasn't happened yet, just because they haven't had their 20 fights and their, their 17 wins, 3 losses streak yet doesn't mean that you're not already looking at a top star competitor you know what i mean so i think it's it's really it's, it's one thing to say okay this kid's just come in here he's still got to prove himself but to say that he is nothing that he has no experience that you know he's just a kid with a bit of training you know just because he hasn't proven himself yet i think that's really fucking quite inaccurate quite skewed quite childish as well you know like People are what they are, and it takes time for them to prove it, but you've got to give them the benefit, not the benefit of the doubt, but you've got to give them the time at least before you start making judgments about them that only time should allow you to make. You know, you haven't seen this kid lose and show his real amateurness yet, show how bad he is at fighting yet. So you can't say he's nothing, because all he has showed so far, all he has proven so far, is that he at least belongs in that field of fighting. He's got what it takes. And just because with Punk, all we've seen so far is him lose, even though I think we have seen some things that indicates that he might have what it takes to actually stay in the game and to win a few games, just because we've only seen bad things of Punk, it doesn't mean that that's all he is and that's all he can and has to provide. I think there's a lot more to him. It's uh, unfortunate we didn't get to see more, um, that Punk didn't... As much as Mickey Gall, you know, said he, he was practicing his strikes, he didn't give him any opportunity to do anything. He just went for the safe, secure victory.